I'm here today with Surprise, the SB404 MK2, and we're going to be sampling a drum break and making a custom drum kit out of it. MK2 is in many ways a step closer to being an MPC. In terms of layout, now we have 16 pads to work with and it's just really easy to sample and chop things onto the pads. If you're looking for other MK2 or 404 content, I have no shortage of that. Check out the description and let's get right into it. The first thing we'll do is choose a sample. So here I've pulled up the 404 MK2 software and to the right of that we have a sample pack from Yurt Rock. They sampled this drummer Terrence Higgins. He's not your average drummer. Terrence is one of the most legit and in-demand drummers in New Orleans, which says a lot. As you guys are soon gonna hear, he has an incredibly deep pocket and just a really deep understanding of rhythm and music. So spoiler alert, the sounds of this kit are going to be New Orleans-y, whether or not that's a good thing to you. And we'll see where the MK2 takes us. All right, so let's pull up the kit and we'll take a listen. That's the sound. That fill at the end, love that. Kind of got that like swunk thing going on. Some ride action. Oh, let's check out this cowbell one, what's this? So like I said, incredibly deep pocket and oftentimes with drums you want to work with something acoustic. I mean it really depends on what you're looking for but with your rock, that's what you're getting. It's all acoustic sounding drums, very live off the floor and if you are interested in the pack, description. I'm kind of overwhelmed with samples right here but we're going to go with something simple. Let's go with maybe this one. Yeah this is great. There's still a lot of character with the snare drum. Plenty of variation to work with. So to the left here, I have the 404 MK2 software, which is very much integrated with the hardware, obviously. <laughs> it's seamless, so I'm gonna take the sample that we just worked with there, drag it over to this kit right here. So this is kit F, and I'm gonna go over to that kit on the 404. One awesome thing to take note of as well is that the app detects the tempo and imports that to this kit. So let's have a listen to the sample. We'll take off gate, and there it is. Step two, let's chop this sample up. So once again, our sample is here. Hit shift and start and you'll see that it says underneath chop. Now we're in chop mode. This groove is very choppy and 16th notey, so that's how I'm gonna be chopping it into 16th notes. Here we go. That's it, we are now chopped on these 16 pads if I wanna play through it. That being said, my timing isn't perfect, so we're actually gonna have to get in there and change the starting point of each of these pads. And I'll probably end up deleting this last one because it's just like an open groove. So I'm just cleaning this part up and chopping everything down right down to the transient so it's nice and clean. Okay. I won't go through every note, the beauty of editing. Let's jump ahead. Now that everything is nice and clean, we hit enter again and go to assign pad and you choose the pads that you want to assign to. So I'm just gonna choose all of them. Except for this last one, because like I said, it's just an open groove. I'm gonna hit enter again, working, and now we have a kit. If you look over at the software as well, you can see that all of the chops are saved. Right, so it saves right there in the software. So let's take a closer look at this kit. It's very dynamic and there's a lot to work with there. When I'm running through a kit like this, I usually like to set the velocity to fixed. So make sure that it's on 
fixed velocity on. I'm pretty sure we can make two kits out of this. So this is where we'll be taking a look at what's called the exchange feature. This is the MK2's way of reassigning your chops and making an actual kit. For myself, I like to have kick, snare, hi-hat, and then maybe open hi-hat or some other high frequency perk. And so the first thing we'll find is a kick, preferably empty, like without a hi-hat. This one's good. So shift, exchange, I think it was pad 11, if I'm not mistaken, and we're gonna go boop, exchange, done. Let's make sure that it worked. There's our kick. Oh, that's another kick too. So this will be our second kick. Shift, exchange, and we're gonna exchange it with this one here. So now we have two kicks, this one and that one. So let's find a snare now. That's a nice clean snare. Shift, exchange, this one here, and we're gonna make that our snare one. Next is hi-hat, and I think the closest thing will be this one here. This is the closest thing we have right now. Yeah, so we'll go with that. Shift, exchange, this guy with this guy, do it. And now we have kick, snare, hi-hat. And we'll add an open hi-hat here or maybe some other perk. No. That's probably the closest we have. So shift exchange, those two. Let's try it. I wanted to stick to my promise and make two kits here. So kick, snare, something high-pitched. Maybe even just a snare. Yeah, let's do that exchange this guy with this guy. What can we do with that? And now we have two really weird kits. Very acoustic sound. Let's say that you want to affect some of these pads individually. Well, you can definitely do that. For example, there's a lot of high end going on with the kick. There's like that ticky sound on the top. We could trim that if we want. So I'm gonna go over to 404 Vinyl Sim. There's a filter right here. Just trim some of it off. So currently all of the pads in this kit are affected by Vinyl Sim on bus one. Which does sound great. But if you'd like to isolate individual pads, you hit remain, and I'm gonna disarm these three pads right here. So now only the kick is affected out of these four pads. So let's try that with the snare as well. Pretty dope. And then we have some nice high end there. That's cool. So that's an option. If you're looking for more of a deep dive with multi-effects in the MK2, this is a video for you. There's also an option of buses three and four which act as master effects on the whole kit. So shift E effects settings, we're gonna go over to 303 Vinyl Sim, it's right there. Full compression, might bring that down a little bit. Take that noise down, some flutter, output, something like that, let's try that. Okay, so that's with it. Let's take that compression all the way down. So what a difference that makes. Let's put it right up, back up. The hi-hat within this groove is sounding a little bit square at this point, so we're gonna do the best we can with that. Shift, fixed velocity, turn it off. So now there's a bit of velocity with the hi-hat, although it's being, it's so compressed at this point that it's hard to tell the difference with the volume. It's a bit better though. I can mix it myself now. I've got a bit of a curveball with an effects that we could add to bus four on the master. Effects setting, we're gonna scroll over to bus four. And this one's called Hadu, I believe. Oh no, sorry, my mistake. It's actually Zanzu. Okay. Very subtle. Let's bring that level down a bit.
Not too intrusive, sits well on the high end. If you like these drums as much as I do, reminder that I got them from the Terrence Higgins Yurt Rock drum sample pack. I've left a link to the sample pack in the description of this video, along with the discount link Liam50. If you use this code at the checkout, you get a 50% discount on the pack. If you're someone who buys gear on the internet, I'm assuming you are. I've left an affiliate link in the description of the MK2 and also have a list of hot synths that you might be interested in. Let me know if you think I should add anything to that list. Hope you subscribe. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and see you soon.